So ED EDP445 is making a website to make his grand return to the internet. It was posted on his Facebook page and everything. And like, no, I don't think there's no possible way that he's going to return from the internet after the whole shit that we found out that he's an actual pedophile. So, in my mind, I'm thinking the only people that are only going to support him are those who don't know the whole situation, which is, like, it's kind of sad if people don't know how much of a creep that EDP is, man. I would feel so bad if people still support him and not understand what's going on or not look into the situation or anything, like... That's that's really messed up, man. And I don't know why he's doing this, because we see now how he is when he was treated like when, when he got caught when he got caught in 4K, dude. Motherfucker was caught in the 4K HD, bro. Fucking trying to show off for a little girl for sex and shit. And it's like, dude, like, and you're gonna re and he reacted like so so sad so sobbly like he was basically acting like a fucking pussy and on the internet like i now i noticed or not noticed but it was brought to my attention before when people made threats like this to him he would just pull out his guns and everything you know like a guy like he owns so many guns and shit so it's like you see how he is like on the internet when he makes videos when he threatens people with his guns and everything but when when we actually get to see how he like actually reacts to the situation in person he takes it like a fucking pussy dude literally just agreed everything of what the predator poachers were saying you know you know he was fucking like getting all nervous getting all panicky when and they say about calling the police and shit and it's like dude we already know exactly how he is so it's just like it's it's like all this is just like his little persona and he's going to continue on with that. And it's like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how he still has any platform of that matter. I heard Instagram has banned him or removed him. And I'm pretty sure Twitter as well, or not Twitter. I don't know if he had his a Twitter. I don't even know how he still has a Facebook, even though he's been pointing out, he's been a creep and there has been some, what is it? Excuse me, some some not speculation, but I'm I've been hearing around from other YouTubers that that he might not go to jail for this. Like they're like the officers can't or like the police cannot like get enough information like to make him a pedophile. But it's like, dude, the predator poachers have so much evidence of like the conversations and everything, and him trying to meet up isn't that like enough evidence to actually put him to jail like he this man deserves to be in jail man i'm sorry as much as i support him before all this as much as it disappoints me to say that this guy that i have looked up to a little bit and i loved his uh, his weird humor and his jokes and shit like i'm sorry what he did was unacceptable and he really needs to face the repercussions for that dude like he really does and there's been, you know, some drama with the predator poachers, or not the CCC unit guy, just like the, the one guy, the bearded guy or whatever, about him being like racist and shit. And it's like, yeah, he did a good thing, but he's still a shitty person. It's like, it's kind of like um, like its own mess within itself. But back to what I was saying, he should not have a platform at all. I don't know how he's even getting a platform of his own for people to still watch. I don't know if it's like some people are going to watch to see if he's going to get any support or if it's like basic like people who don't know what happened are still going to blindly support him. Man, I'm pretty sure people are still trying to understand the fact that he was trying to meet up a minor for sex. Like, I'm pretty sure some people can't imagine that. Like, they want to be... They want to deny that, but hey, you gotta face reality and know, now know that your favorite YouTuber is a fucking pedophile. And like, dude, again, don't want to repeat myself, but I just feel like he does not deserve the platform at all. Nor, nor making this website to make videos like, like we already know how he is. So I don't know why he's crawling back to his online persona. Like we already seen how he is. So you know, it's kind of just weird to me let me know what you guys think down below in the comments if not that's 
a-okay with me, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, I hope you all have one for more in that day, evening, whatever the occasion is, and I will see you all lovely, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one, later.